What we're going to be talking about next is constants. Constants, like variables, are used to store a value, but otherwise, constants and variables differ in many ways. For starters, when you create a constant, you use the define function instead of an assignment operator. So remember, if I'm going to create a variable, I would use the dollar sign, and then I would put the name of the variable, and then I'm going to use the equal sign, and I'm going to assign some sort of value. So this is an example of a variable. When we use constants, they look a little bit different. We use the define function, and then in the parentheses, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pass on the name of the constant followed by a comma, and then we'll go ahead and assign the value. So instead of using the assignment operator of equals, we're going to be using the define function instead. As a general rule of thumb, constants are named using all capitals. That's not a requirement, but it is how most PHP developers do name their constants. It is also worth noting that constants do not use that initial dollar sign as variables do because constants aren't variables. A constant is normally assigned a scalar value, like a string or number. So if I wanted to turn the constant into an actual value, I would go ahead and put the constant name. So I'm going to put username, and the name of the constant should be quoted. I'll follow this by a comma, and then I'm going to put the value. And if I want it to be a string, that of course will be quoted as well. So I'll just put my name in there for this example. You can also assign a numeric value to a constant, and that's going to look like this. Another important distinction is that, unlike variables, a constant's value cannot be changed. When we access a constant's value, like when we want to print it, you can't put the constant within quotation marks. So if I wanted to print my username, I would not be able to write something like this. If we try to run this, it's going to throw an error message. And the reason why is because the constant name is within the quotation marks. In order to actually have this work, we would need to separate this into two separate lines so that it looks something like this. And if we save this and look in the browser, we are going to get an error. And the reason why is because here, where I was talking about constants, value, since it is a string, was not quoted. And so it's giving me an error message. So I'll just quote that so I don't get the error message. And now you can see that it's printing, hello, Emily. Remember that the constants can't be placed within the quotes. If I wanted to have these echo out together, I could go ahead and use my concatenation operator. And that would look something like this. Remember, we use the period for concatenation. And here I'll just print the value of my name constant, which of course is value. So it's going to say hello value with the second instance. And because I don't have either of these wrapped inside of paragraphs, they're going to go ahead and print right together. Now PHP does run with several predefined constants, much like our predefined variables that we were looking at earlier in the course. The predefined constants include PHP underscore version, which is going to tell you the version of PHP, or we could use PHP underscore OS, which is going to tell us the operating system of the server. I'm going to show you how to use those next. So I'll just select all of these items, and I'm going to comment them out so that they aren't part of my code, since they were just examples that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the date as a constant. To do that, I use the define keyword, and then I'm going to define the day of my constant. I'll just call it today, and then I'm going to go ahead and print today's date. Next, I'll use an echo statement to print this out to the page. If I save this and I refresh, it's going to go ahead and print today's date to my page. That's what we asked it to do. Let's look at how we can try to incorporate one of the predefined constants that I was just mentioning. That might look something like this. If we save and we look at our page, you can now see that it lets me know that my server is running 7.2.1 and I'm using the Darwin operating system. The results that we get here, the Darwin operating system, that's a technical term for Mac OS. By making use of PHP constants, you can learn more about your PHP setup. If we were to run the same file on a different server, we would get different results depending on the actual OS that was running on that particular server. 
we'll revisit constants in some future lectures in this course, but I did want to introduce you to them since they are similar to variables, but they do work a little bit differently. So do keep in mind that when you do use a constant, it remains constant. It's not a value that you're going to want to change. So in my earlier example, when I printed a username, that's probably not something that I would want to use a constant for because the username may change or even the date. If I wanted to define a date and have it refresh and print a new date on another day, then again, a constant is probably not a good use. As the name indicates, constants are constant. 